There are three sets of questions we use to assess household continuity readiness. The first set concerns resources you are going to need following a disaster. Some of these things may be obvious, like food and water, while some may be less obvious, like medicine, financial documents, and comfort items. Remember, we are assuming that you and all members of your household are physically okay immediately following the disaster, and that it's up to you to determine how thorough you want to be in your preparations. You might be comfortable with water and peanut butter day after day, or you might feel you need a high-end generator directly wired into your own bomb shelter. It's up for you to decide. So take a moment to imagine a situation where you may have to stay isolated in your home for several days and one where you would have to evacuate and stay away from your home for several days. Perhaps it's a flood, tornado, hurricane, chemical spill, or wildfires. In any case, assume it may be a long time before you can obtain new resources. Think of all the things you need your home for. Not just shelter and safety, but caring for your pets, running a business, healthcare, school, volunteer activities, and a host of other functions. What are the activities that would be hard to do without the proper resources? Be sure to consider all these important activities when you provide your answers. There are nine questions in this section. It is the longest of the three sections.